are y'all doing today? I hope you guys are doing so, so good out there. I literally think this is the first time I've been on camera speaking to you guys in 2019. It's been way, way too long, and I just hope you guys are doing so good out there. This week, I think, is the first week it's not bitterly cold here in California, and I thought it'd be a great time to do a video on winter to spring transition. I personally love these periods so much because it's a time where you can just mix and match two different wardrobes together to create like the perfect look and I really think it lends itself to a lot of creativity and just creating some unique combinations that you might not have considered before. So today's video I'm going to share 10 different outfit ideas to get your creative juices going and I hope you guys really enjoy. Every single outfit that I featured are going to be down below in the description box so be sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get started. Starting with outfit idea number one, pair your thick winter sweaters with some of your lightweight spring bottoms. My favorite combos include a slouchy oversized sweater with a pleated chiffon midi skirt or a sweater with a pair of culottes or if you want to show some leg you guys can do a sweater with a cute flirty mini skirt this idea is great because you can still enjoy your winter knits and sweaters that you've been wearing all season long you still get that nice soft coziness but gives a nice light and airiness to these chunkier knits that you've been wearing all season so it's giving it a completely different look and the outfits are way more balanced for whenever the temperatures start creeping back up. Idea number two, let's piggyback off of that. You can keep your winter outerwear pieces, but just swap out the entire outfit underneath with a full spring look. Some examples is like your camel or plaid coats. Those are still super chic, but instead of wearing it with like a thick sweater and pants, you can wear a cute little slip dress underneath or even a floral dress. And also a favorite is pairing a thick moto jacket with a frilly cute spring dress underneath. So it's like wearing a full spring outfit for the warmer weather, but you still have this nice cocoon shell to protect you whenever it's still a little bit chillier or windy outside. Idea number three, try some sexy sweaters. <laughs> this is a great time in the season to check out some of the new crops of sweaters that are coming out that may be short sleeve, sleeveless, off the shoulder. This provides a great hybrid between a soft knit feeling of a sweater and having the silhouette be more conducive to warmer weather. Outfit idea number four, keep your over the knee boots out because they not only look good with your winter gear and your jeans, but they also look amazing with your spring mini skirts and dresses and shorts. Because the shoe goes all the way up to the thigh, you're still getting good coverage. I just love the fact that the shoe looks amazing in both winter and spring. I've got a affordable and my investment options down below for you guys to check out. I think that they look just as good with those flirty short hems in addition to all of your winter gear too. And then whenever it gets really hot, you can swap out those boots for your spring and summer sandals. Outfit idea number five, one of my favorite, favorite pieces of clothing. Bring out the trenches, people. Yes, I love me a powerful trench, I swear. Trench coats are obviously such a quintessential piece of the spring wardrobe. I feel like you could throw a trench over anything and you look instantly like put together and super chic. It's also a really good piece of outerwear because it is so much lighter than your thick winter coats, but you can also still pair it with winter pieces underneath, like a turtleneck and your slacks still look great with the trench coat, but it's just so much lighter on the top. And the trench, of course, looks amazing with all of your spring florals. So as a piece of outerwear, it is great because it's not suffocating, it's lightweight, and you're gonna get so much great use out of it in the upcoming months. Idea number six is lighten your base layers. Particularly, I love me some camisoles and lightweight t-shirts. So at this point, we've been really used to wearing like long sleeves, thermals, turtlenecks. So depending on where you guys are with your temperatures right now, if you are transitioning out of a turtleneck, you can go down to like a lightweight long sleeve. From a lightweight long sleeve, you can do a nice crew neck t-shirt, crew neck t-shirt to a camisole. You get the point. So even if you don't swap out any of your bottoms right now, just downsizing the warmth level of your base layer top and you'll instantly feel springified. Outfit idea number seven, one of my favorite pieces to break out in addition to a trench is a cardigan. Cardigans are a great of course all year round but one of my favorite combinations is pairing a camisole with a cardigan it's such a killer combo during this funky weather because you can always shut off the cardigan and just have a really breezy tank top on but the cardigan is just really great because it is a step down from a thick ass winter coat it's still nice and cozy and there's something about like a longer cardigan I just feel like the elegance and movement of it feels very conducive to spring and it also looks great with all of your other flowy 
breathable fabrics that you could be pairing with that too. Outfit idea number eight, this is more about getting into like the mood of spring, but I always love to start bringing in some pastels, lace, or florals. Any of those materials I think really just set the tone and just getting you into the mood for springtime. I think just doing like an easy swap out of one of your regular items for something that is bright and happy and Easter colored is super fresh. You also got all those romantic fluffy lace and chiffon materials that are gonna be coming out in spring. Even if it's as small as like pairing like a cute little floral handkerchief as a bag accessory. And I also just got this like super bomb light blue blazer that makes me feel so like Easter bunny CEO chic. Gets me really, really excited for spring. So pastels, floral, and lace, those are my three go-tos. Idea number nine, you can also start whipping out your lighter rinse denim or your distressed denim. Obviously those light denim rinses are so synonymous to the spring wardrobe, even just like your white jeans, crack those babies out. And now that we're escaping winter, your more heavily distressed jeans, you know, you're able to wear it out because it's not freezing cold outside. It's always a breath of fresh air to see those bright blue, happy denim washes too. And last but not least, idea number 10 is to break out some transitional shoes. And my number one favorite has got to be the mule. The open backs really add so much lightness and freedom to your foot. Obviously in the dead of winter, you're not gonna be exposing your full ankles, so now you can let those puppies breathe. I also think the mule is like super flattering. It gives you a nice long lean line to your legs and it's a nice hybrid between airy sandal likeness of a shoe, but also the stability and substantialness of a full shoe, like a boot cut in half, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whether it's like a high heel stiletto mule or a boot type of mule or even like a loafer mule. There's a nice range of backless mule options out there right now. All right, you guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoy today's 10 tips. If you guys have any questions on anything featured in today's video, I'll include it down below in the description box. And I love you guys so much. Bye!